YouTube, we got a content drop today. Today, we are getting the new ninth inning program in MLB The Show 20, as well as a couple player programs. They got a new uh, thing in the show shop. We're also going to go over the calendar. Before I even show you guys this, this ninth inning program is crazy. The three bosses are Hannes Wagner, Jimmy Fox, and Kenley Jansen. And we're, we're going to get to their attributes, but... We'll just say that what we really wanted out of Jimmy Fox's card is a thing this year. And I'm so pumped about it. But we'll get into that first, guys. I appreciate all the support on the channel lately. We are over 6,000 subs deep now. Absolutely crazy. If you want to see more of these content drop videos, please do hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll be able to get more of these out when these things drop. Also, I will be live tomorrow, Saturday, in the afternoon and evening, grinding out this program. We're gonna try to do a little bit of a longer stream. So the link to my Twitch channel will be down in the description below. Come hang out. I think I can get close to finishing this program tomorrow slash Sunday. I do have the voucher. I get to get all three bosses from the last one. So there's a good chance that we put a good dent into this thing. So here is the art for the three bosses, Wagner, Fox, and Jansen. We're gonna go right into the program. Obviously, we got our dailies. The showdown, 70 points as always. So for this showdown, the we get a mini boss halfway through, and then we get another mini boss at the end before the final boss. Now, what's cool about this is they incentivize you to actually play all the way through. They give you a 10-pack bundle along with the stubs and the experience. You also get two diamond hitters and a diamond perk for finishing this before going into the final boss. The final boss is going to be Kenley Jansen, so be ready for that. We'll get into his card soon, but I think with the way his card is built, it might actually create a semi-difficult inning showdown. But it's easy to tire out relievers in showdowns, so it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Back to the program, we got our missions. Obviously, the 10 games of ranked, 10 games of online modes in general. This program, we got hits with postseason series players. And then online tally putouts with signature Jim Edmonds. We're going to get into him in, in a sec. We got our ninth inning conquest, as we always do. It's in the shape of a helicopter. Uh, there's obviously going to be packs within it and all that. But basically, at this point, we're doing it for the free packs, but also the stars in the inning program. You get 30, as always. And then for collections, it's obviously the voucher collection right here. We got postseason players. So if you've collected six postseason players, which I clearly have, uh, you'll be able to get another 20 stars from that and then prime hunter pence right here and then signature series jim Edmonds. these are the new player programs so we go into here we got hunter pence right here they're kind of celebrating his retirement that just happened this card is an absolute lefty masher 96 overall prime series card uh decent defense it's at 78 he's got a great arm pretty good speed at 80 but this is by far in a way just a lefty masher off the bench for me and then we got signature series jim edmonds now this card i can't believe this card is free look at this card so every year we uh, most of us know that jim edmonds has one of the best swings in the game this swing is glitchy glitchy so he the typical hitting sets we see from a high level jim edmonds card insane versus righties pretty damn good versus lefties diamond defense decent arm and uh the speed is eh for center field but hey I'm excited for this card for my all-time Cubs team. Jim Edmonds did play on the Cubs for a little bit, so obviously he's a Cubs legend. We, we all know it. That's what he's known for, being a Cubs legend. Nah, but seriously, I am excited for this card. I can't believe he's free and they're easily grindable, just like all the other player programs. You do some moments, you do an uh, offline game on All-Star or a couple online missions, and then there you go, you got him. All right, so the rewards in this obviously are the, the random stuff you get. You get a headliner set 50, so you can have a chance to get Scherzer at 100 stars. The henchman at 150 stars. It's a pretty good henchman here. So the first one we have is 97 overall Craig Kimbrell. This year they gave him a slider, which was interesting, but he's four seam fastball, knuckle curve slider, almost maxed out per nines. The Kimbrell's cards tend not to do well, especially this one is not gonna have a change up. That's gonna be interesting double breaking ball might be interesting though but i mean obviously he has great per nines and this card is a good budget reliever especially if you don't have the top guys like dibble mariano uh soon to be kenley we'll get into that in a sec next we got 97 overall vita blue and i've always liked vita blue cards i really have this one is a very good one at 97 overall i mean he's got crazy stamina good per nines the thing about this one 
This is the first Vita Blue card we've ever seen that has a slider. So he's got a five pitch mix. Obviously, in this game, you'd prefer to see a sinker over a two seam. Vita Blue never threw a sinker. This card, though, is going to be very good. He's very easy to control, in my opinion. You got a 98 mile an hour fastball that's probably going to touch 100. Curveball change up that brand new slider, man. I'm so pumped that he has that. And then a two seam fastball. You know how I like to use two seams up and away to righties with the lefty on the mound. I'm excited about him. I think he's actually going to get a shot in my rotation. And lastly, we got 96 overall gold glove Steve Finley. Now, if you guys know MLB The Show, Steve Finley's got one of the best swings in the game. So his stats, you look at his stats, and you're like, eh, this late in the year, eh. Uh, I, it's got diamond defense that's good, 71 speed, eh. I don't think you guys realize with his swing, that 96 and 103 power plays way above 110. This card will absolutely rake. He might get a debut on the channel. I'm thinking about it because this card, as easy as he is going to be to get, as cheap as he's going to be after a couple weeks, this card is good. If you're looking for a budget beast squad, you give it two weeks, this card's going to be like 7 to 10K. That's an outfielder for you right there. He's a beast. So we keep going along here. We get a 10-pack bundle of 200, some balling packs. The new bat skin, uh, exclusive postseason bat skin. Looks interesting. Kind of cool. Uh, mint condition nameplate. And then we got the bosses. I'm excited about these. All right. So here is 99 overall Hannes Wagner. Shortstop primary. You can play all over the infield and left field. Max out contact versus left. 116 versus right. The power is 89 and 90. When prestige, that'll go up. He's got diamond fielding, a 90 arm, and 95 speed with 98 stealing. He's got a good swing. This was the go-to shortstop last year. Next, we got 99 overall Kenley Jansen. And you guys are seeing this before they change it. They've made him born in China. When SES was live streaming, the entire chat was filled with the fact that he was born in China. And I'm pretty sure he was born in Curacao. Either way, Kenley Jansen, the closer. Five pitch mix, 99 overall. The per nines, 121, 125. Got 99 velo, 99 break. You're gonna be able to control them. Cutter, slider, sinker, change up, four seam pitch mix. This is gonna be one of the best relievers in the game, especially with how cutters play this year. I am so excited to use this card in my bullpen. I really am. I might pick him first, but there is one reason why I may not pick him first. And that is 99 overall, Jimmy Fox with the catcher secondary. That's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Jimmy Fox can play catcher with those hitting stats. Are you kidding me? Bro, 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 bro. 124, 125, 116, 113. You're not going to find a better hitting catcher. He's going to have bronze defense behind the plate, but if you prestige him, it'll get up to silver. 65 speed. That's kind of close to what Pudge is in terms of speed. Oh my God, bro. He's also got a really good swing. So I'm super excited for this one. I'm probably going to end up getting all three bosses, but the order is going to be Kenley or Jimmy Fox, one or the other, and then Hannes will be last. These cards can be prestige. I'm putting the stats up here for you right now. A big noticeable trait right here is the fact that Hannes has an over 90 power versus both sides. He gets a buff to fielding an arm. Speed goes up to 98. Pretty good, pretty good. Jimmy Fox maxed out both sides contact 119, 116 power. I'm pretty sure that's the same as Babe Ruth. He's gonna have a silver fielding badge at catcher, 78 arms, 68 speed. I'm pretty sure that's the same as Pudge. And Kenley, nothing's too noticeable except the fact that hits per nine is almost maxed out. Uh, he only has 29 stamina when he's prestige, but I mean, what are you gonna do? He's a closer. Uh, control gets a little better. You can't improve on the pitching clutch and the velo and break. The slider does get a little slower and the changeup gets a little slower, I believe. Maybe they had a tick to his fastball. Not sure, but he's a beast anyway. Lastly, I'm going to go over the calendar real quick. Uh, so today, obviously, we get the ninth inning program on the sixth, which I believe is next Tuesday. Uh, we'll get the wild card pack. It's going to be a brand new pack with uh, some special players from the wild card series. And then we're also going to get the division series event. So basically the event that we have right now, the wild card event, you can only use players on the wild card teams. Then it's going to go down to, you can only use players on the division series teams on the ninth. So next Friday, we're going to be getting our new September monthly awards program on the 13th. We'll get a flawless reward. And on the 14th, we'll get the division series pack. IE the same as the wild card pack, except players that stood out in the division series. So guys, that is the new content update for the day. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Up through the Twitch stream tomorrow, I'll be grinding this out. We can talk. You can ask me any questions you like. And guys, until next time, have a good one. Thank you.